हेलो गुड इवनिंग सर लाइव स्ट्रीम में कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स आ रही है तो सर थोड़ा पांच मिनट डिले हो जाएगा सॉरी सर देर आज there are some issues with the live stream in the youtube sir so we might get delay by 5 minutes technical issues okay. resolving this no problem
sorry for the delay sir uh, the issue has been resolved and i think we are uh, good to start this session. hello everyone hello sir department and he's a very prestigious personality in the field of mechanical department and uh, uh, he has been the guest lecturer at uh, many universities of uk and us so uh, we are very honored to have mr pankaj shrivastav sir as our president of iic and, uh, that's he is the convener of iic rivers new college he is also the professor of uh, mechanical department and uh, our project of major is being under, done under the guidance of amish shukla sir so we are also honored that amish shukla sir is here in the session well a very warm good evening to all of you present here i'm quoted these impact lectures under the institutions innovation council throughout the colleges to sensitize and motivate motivation and start up during the academics these impact lecture series not only establish streamlined team but also just thank you vaishali and welcome mr priyas and thanks for sharing your valuable time for our college well as the name uh, of our uh, council suggests that is iic that is the institution institutions innovation council obviously we can very well understand that it is related to innovation innov innovative activities and its main aim is to um, nurture and uh, we can say inculcate uh, some aptitude uh, of uh, innovation uh, startup and uh, entrepreneurship uh, within the students Uh, so we uh, quite frequently we we keep on arranging such lectures and we we call uh, experts from from the industry and today we have called you and i and i feel our students and and many more those who are uh, participating with they are attending this uh, this session will be benefited from the vast from the value and information given by you so i think uh, 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 I, I, some data I want to give. As we have, 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 we obviously when there is research there is some innovation in it involved in it because once there is innovation then the the, the further uh, your activities are that is what we call the the, the research that is the advancement of this of that innovation and then then there is one more uh, organization that is icar that is in, in, in indian council of agriculture uh, agriculture research it has all over the country 99 institutes and 17 research centers then icmr that is it is related to medical research it has 30 laboratories drdo everyone has heard of it of this of this institute institution that is it has 48 laboratories all over the world all over sorry, not not all over the india not world so uh, then there is number of academic institution obviously the iits they are all uh, contributing to the innovation and research to, to our country and many more institutions there there are some ngos also there are and this uh, your and this centers for example is, is some private sectors also involved in this then the last but not the least of one very important thing that is there, there are some financial institution involved that is idbi everyone knows this that is industrial development bank of india and then small industry development bank of india that is sidb now this lends support to uh, to to the entrepreneurs and uh, startup uh, holders innovation and and then, then uh, to develop commercialize uh, commercial activity in, uh, for uh, innovation technologies 
So all these things which are already uh, going on within the country, and I think uh, and regarding the your challenges. So obviously, with what I feel with my experience, that um, the that is the main the, one of the main challenges is the is the use of the monetary part. That is, is uh, once you, uh, you 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 are unable to uh, receive the funding, you won't be. Able to proceed with your in with your concept, so I think Mr. Payas will further elaborate elaborate on this topic. Topic. So I hand over to Mr. Payas. You please proceed with your valuable uh, session. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vastavji, for explaining these, and uh, uh, I, I really appreciate your warm welcome and every one of you. Uh, so. Yes, I was going through a lot of things, and uh, first of all, I would like to appreciate this initiative, which the students are taking right now. Uh, this is very important, and this, uh, innovation is not just creating some product or uh, uh, you know, creating a new uh, thing. It's 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 in everywhere. Means like day to day, you can you can innovate something in your life, uh, and and can make it easy. Okay. So there is one uh, a monotonous way of working which everybody is working, but there is a smart way of working always, and that's what we need to focus on. So uh, uh, correct as just, as you were talking, so just as you were talking. We start, uh, just give us a few minutes so that we could introduce sure. our audience uh, sure. with our today's guest. Well. Dhirubhai Ambani quite rightly said that the success of the young entrepreneur will be the key to India's transformation in the new millennium. And today we have such a young entrepreneur with us. And I would like to call upon Aditya Grahri sir to welcome our today's guest and introduce him to our audience that has joined via YouTube. Uh, thank you, Vashali. And it is my honor to be here in Kalbushi Shurugat. The founder and CEO of one of India's most successful uh, drone-based companies, Skyland Drone Tech Private Limited. And uh, before I start about speaking about, sir, I would like to tell something about this Skyland Drone Tech company, which is which itself is a, a proud Make in India thing for all of us. Uh, Skyland Drone Tech Private Limited is aiming to use the recent technology, evolving technologies, and modernization for effective business by providing services using UAVs and in the field of precision, agriculture, medicine and other industrial sectors. And to be honest, I believe that Skyline is a mix up of technology, innovation and a vision. And we are honored to have a vision the leader, Mr. Priya Saxena sir, today with us in this session. And uh, before his founding Skyline, Priya Saxena sir has been in corporates. He has 16 years of experience of working in corporates at different companies and at different schools. And uh, he's the person who is from the management background but has excelled in technology and research. So without taking any more time, I would request Mr. Priya Saxena sir to enlighten us about the innovation and research challenges in India and how to tackle them. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Aditya, and uh, great initiative, I'll say. Very nice initiative which you are, you guys are taking. And uh, uh, see, we found out a way. I'll, I'll start with the, us since you have started this topic. So, uh, yes, providing a service is also very important. Okay, that we were in a position to start this organization. Um, so same way, people need to have a lot of patience. They need to understand the working and then they can innovate. They need to understand, collect the data that what is there in the world and then they can add on. Or if you are even able to find out a usage of the same device in a different way, it is a still an innovation. You know, you can still innovate a lot of things. As I said, that innovation is not just uh, you know, manufacturing a new product or making a prototype or doing anything. Innovation is all about that, how you can think innovative. Um, 
we have uh, uh, there, there are a lot of places where uh, there are uh, you know the the hierarchical system in india that is always under uh, uh, you know controversy controversy so yeah. correct and those are some points where uh, you know i i think now this is the time when people should understand a person does not need a degree to accomplish a particular job they need to have that skill they need to have that skill they do not need a degree of mba they do not need a degree of b b tech from uh, stanford from uh, california university from uh, you know the biggest oxfords iits iims no if you have a mindset of learning you can actually achieve those things you can change those hierarchy okay skill development should be done right from the beginning and this this is for both parents and for the students and for all the entrepreneurs who are working right now as well in some sectors uh, it is very important for them to understand that uh, please do not go on to the paper uh, on to the papers which which knows degrees and everything uh, i i'm not saying that the education system is bad or something i'm not questioning on the education system but the right there is no right age of physical learning you keep on learning everything every day so this uh, you need to innovate you need to enhance your skills uh, and you need to find out the ways that how you can start doing something uh, you know parallelly take out some time uh, start doing something parallelly uh, like i'm i'm pretty sure that there are a lot of kids these days who are running a very successful startup they were already doing some job and suddenly you know they moved to a different arena altogether they made something and after that it become into a brand okay biggest thing over here is the sales okay let me tell you something why other countries are ahead of us why there are lot of you know innovations which is not happening over here because we do not know how to sell okay and this is this creates do whatever you want okay present yourself you give an interview i always tell one thing the sales pitch is really important until unless you are not able to sell your own idea your own uh, you know uh, qualifications you won't be able to uh, you know go ahead with any other thing so sales is a very important part and uh, this is the right time when everybody should start focusing on their sales operations as well uh, they should focus on the sales and the more knowledge you will get the better sales you can you will be able to do so do whatever you want develop your skill make up your mind what sell yourself and sell others and do a justice to everyone okay uh once we are through with that process there are lot of uh, places where uh, when we start something or when we are doing something we tend to compromise with the things and this is called losing uh, fear of losing a pie uh this 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 is a very important part when uh, you know when the innovations or uh, the uh, uh, you know the innovative ideas started getting crashed and uh, uh, we need to we need to understand this thing very important once you believe in your product once you have all the data points once you have you you have all the data of your competitors once you have data for uh, uh, the market if you are pitching in those product uh, i'm pretty sure you will not fail but you need to understand that what you are serving to other people and what is the value for that so never lose value of your work there will be lots of instances that humko aisa lagta hai ki nahi agar humne ye grab nahi kiya to humko aage koi opportunity nahi milegi 
ऐसा नहीं है दोस्त बहुत सारी अपॉर्चुनिटीज आएंगी बहुत सारे लोग आएंगे बहुत सारी प्लेसेस रहेंगी जहां पे आप अपने टैलेंट को डिस्प्ले कर सकते हो आप नेक्स्ट लेवल जा सकते हो बट यू आल्सो नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड बी प्रैक्टिकल ओके इट्स नॉट लाइक यू आर सेलिंग अ टेन बक्स थिंग इन वन थाउजेंड रुपीज दैट्स नॉट दैट इज ओनली पॉसिबल वेन यू हैव अ ब्रांड लाइक गुची सो यू नीड टू हैव दैट वैल्यूज टू गेन दैट वैल्यू you need to focus on the basics they are able to sell those pieces with just cost 10 dollars in 4000 dollars because of the brand value create your brand value by creating by choosing your own customers okay you need to understand and it needs a lot of patience it needs a lot of patience you need to understand that how these things will work so do not fear of that okay the earth is round the things will go it will come back the customer will go he will come back if you will lose one take a feedback understand go to the next level and you know uh, innovate in your sales tactics innovate in your uh, you know presentations and i'm pretty sure you will be able to do this सो uh, बेसिकली so हम लोगों को एक और सबसे बड़ी समस्या जो सब लोगों को आती है यहाँ पे दैट इज uh, हम किसी भी मॉडल को uh, जब किसी भी बिजनेस मॉडल को हम लोग आगे बढ़ाने की कोशिश करते हैं तो उसका ऑथेंटिसिटी क्या है उसका uh, वो वो कैसे काम करेगा उसका वर्किंग स्टाइल क्या है दो थिंग्स कम अप विथ प्रोटोटाइप Uh, जब भी आप नई चीजों पे इनोवेट करते हैं जब भी आप नए टॉपिक्स पे जाते हैं नब, जब भी आप नई चीजों को इंट्रोड्यूस करते हैं एक्सेप्टेबिलिटी एकदम नहीं आती है ओके okay? एंड uh, इसी कारण से हर कोई आप पे इन्वेस्ट करने से भी बैक ऑफ करेगा uh, उस समय बट इफ यू सी द पोटेंशियल इफ योर डेटा स्पीक्स यू कैन प्रूव इट करेक्ट अगेन द थिंग्स गोज ऑन टू द डेटा okay so how you will actualize your uh, idea that uh, it has got some base and this is a sustainable business idea or this is a sustainable product or service it is by the surveys by with the help of data whatever you will collect this is how you will actually do it um to understand these things sometimes you might have to see works what are the major uh, issues you need to under better way so there is no harm in working under someone or working in in any other company understanding the you know uh, understanding the mechanism behind it and then innovate it and lot of ideas have come up like this only uh, so while we are doing this session uh, we uh, some of the the students in the youtube live chat have a doubt regarding the term we are using data so i would like to make it clear that uh, here the term data which we are using we are actually referring to the resource part which we are going yes. before the innovation yes yes so for any kind of innovations you need to have proper uh, research for that okay so research uh so let's say you want to make a a, a mobile phone okay you want to make a mobile phone so there are a n number of mobile companies which are there at this point of time uh but agar aap dekhoge to do hi cheeze chalti hai ya to apple chalta hai matlab uh what you call it the mac os or uh, yes the android system okay so there is only two things which works in the market uh that's the base of this but at the same time when you talk about naya kya hai abhi you go buy a oneplus the same thing you will buy in some other company will be 15000 rupees che- cheaper but abhi ek aur nayi company aayi usne research kiya aur bolte hain ki logo ko something cool dikhne wala phone chahiye thoda sa different dikhne wala phone chahiye 
which can define some status apple is cliche okay and android is every phone is a bar phone or a old one being cliche what what i should do next so an innovator came up with something he he studied the market and it is a trans they, they are selling it they are selling it they are successfully able to sell it and you know so the basics is same but with the research he is able to crack something crack something which is innovative hai ya aap uska target audience kon hai aapko us audience ko samajhna padega wo cheez samajhna sirf mind mein nahi hota us cheez ko paper pe lana padta hai any other questions coming in other to keep on uh, yeah keep on uh, coming up yes. with this thing uh, one of the uh, one more important thing was like uh, uh, here in this session we are basically discussing uh, the importance of drone technology and how we we are actually uh, keeping this whole session in the point of the drone technology so uh, the terms and uh, the everything market resource of the sales part everything is related with this innovation and resource topic so students don't need to confuse about the topic and we are actually keeping it a very practical session like if we are going to discuss what is resource what is innovation and what are the problems and that is not only our concern we actually need to understand what is this the practicalities of these terms so that's why we are keeping this session uh, in uh, the points related with the drone technology uh, uh, the points related with the drone technology uh, am i right sir Oh, why not? Why not? So, if you really want to talk about the yes. drone technology, so the same yes. thing which we are implementing over here as well. The drones were always there. Okay, the drones were always there. How you can utilize those drones? That the mechanism of drone is the same thing, but you can actually change the payload. Okay, the me- mechanism of of drone is same. Okay, there are different kind of drones. They fly the same way, but. what changes is the payload the implementation of that technology and how you have integrated that okay and who will be your customer if you want to do something innovative with the drones if you want to understand about the drone technology then uh, you know uh, there there are a lot of ways that you can do it uh, first of all you need to understand the basics of drones and uh, um come come again uh, adit i just want to understand once once again that what all the things come up with the exact question that what do you want to know about the drone te- uh, drone industry so actually what happened that uh, some of the students were uh, asking about like how the terms which we were discussing like the market research or the sales part it is related with research and innovation so i was just explaining that uh, we are keeping this session very practical like we are taking a case study of this drone and see uh, what corporate is actually doing in the field of market and research so i was just uh, clearing that points okay so market and research okay so like you know uh, when we actually see uh, that that how the market is moving we also see some uh, opportunities uh, by by our research how we are developing it we come up as a service we came up as a service provider we started providing the services and started collecting the data that which uh, what are the drones are available in the market what are the things which is uh, and how they are performing but what is the demand of the actual customer we started focusing on that the used case scenarios basically what we call it okay once we have the data we will be able to innovate a product which is no 10000 customers we have been into the fields and we have used 15 different kind of drones and what are the what is the actual uh, demand of the market is what people want do they want cheaper drones do they want faster drones do they want more endurance oriented drones what are the parts which is actually very expensive what are the parts which is you know kind of consumables like you have your vehicle and you have brake pads into that brake pads comes under consumables they consume and you have to re, re 
put the uh, new brake pads over there and that's how it keeps on consuming it has got a life cycle the same way the drone is also having the same thing and those are the things where people need the most of the attention so if you want to innovate something over there you need to understand the topics of uh, you need to understand the topic of uh, you know uh, you need to understand the market strategies uh, you need to understand the market that which is uh, in which sector you are working okay uh, and how you will actually go ahead and will provide the uh, data just give me one minute i am getting a phone call ashok uh, sir sure, Uh, yes, sir. I'm so sorry for this. Uh, yes. No, yes. so you need to be specific about that what questions you want to uh, uh, you know uh, what are the exact question which you are uh, uh, sir actually uh, we are not having much questions from the audience uh, we can continue with the uh, uh, points which you were discussing sir like the uh, problems and the solutions okay so yes the, see until unless you will not explore the industry you won't be able to understand uh, uh, the uh, you know the problems over there you need yes. to explore the industry uh, when we enter into the industry uh, if you want to know about my experience with the drones yes there is a huge dependency on china at this point of time okay there are a lot of places where we can actually work uh, there are a lot of places where we need to focus on and we need to reverse engineer we need to have a uh, conversations where we need to have such kind of uh, more sessions where uh, you know everybody can come and join in and can create some kind of innovations over there uh, so that we can have better understanding on uh, you know uh, the uh, the product and the developments uh, so in in our india in 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 india we are having lot of ip uh, rights okay i think now you guys should focus on the startup india websites uh, the startup india is really working very actively okay uh, and uh, uh, the the new concepts which are run, which is actually being run by the government the new initiative atmanirbhar bharat uh and uh, uh, the startup india scheme stand up india scheme msme schemes women entrepreneur schemes you need to understand that where from where you can get it uh see if you talk about the implementations uh when you go to startup india you will actually find out the challenges in different industry explore that thing and once you will start exploring it you start innovating something there are lot of problem statements uh, statements which is coming okay so there is one thing which you observe and then you action make action plan on that and there is one thing when you already know the problem somebody is asking for the solution and you then start working on that that what is the, what can be the pos- possible potential solution okay so startup india is a great platform okay where you can you can actually go ahead and you can talk about uh, what are the topics what 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 are the problem statements which like recently railway come up with a lot of issues okay and there were there were 11 problem statements which which came up and we were able to uh, you know suggest a solution where one single drone can actually solve three potential causes right away so there were 11 problem statements they want separate solution for them but we were able to conclude three points with one single drone solution 
and that is only that only happened because we know about the industry we are studying industry every day we know that what are the innovations which are happening and we know how to implement them as a technology okay so the implementation is equally very important once you know the implementation and you have successfully done it you can actually file for an ipr okay what well, and such kind of organizations generally get dpit recognitions so if you know about dpit so there are a lot of benefits which you get uh, once you are recognized by dpit that is under startup segment only okay so the 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 business models need to be defined according to that because every innovations needs a lot of money every research needs a lot of money every uh, implementations and running those things into a business needs a lot of money okay so those things are getting resolved right from the startup india portal okay there are a lot of vc funders there are a lot of uh, uh, okay let's talk about madhya pradesh if if you talk about madhya pradesh our chief minister he's actually making a you know a vc fund as well okay they are making a vc fund all together they have come up with a new uh, you know uh, policies for a startup and which is a great initiative so you need to you need to have see such kind of such kind of innovations such kind of innovative ideas which we are bringing on the table need to be presented to the government okay and you need to back up those ideas with the data with the research which you have done then your follow up is very much required the more you will follow up the faster you will get results so on the same note there is an attendee asking that what is the major concern for india considering this innovation and technology sector that india needs to follow right now as we see the countries like japan or all the western countries they are much excelling at innovation and technology in their own countries so what should be the major concern for india right now so that we get it <coughs> the major concern is please do not follow the others follow follow the right things okay anything which is running is is globalization if you are actually working on the same path that's not innovation that's globalization okay but if you are resolving something with researches backing up your researches then only it is innovation so what we need is we need to have proper research globally and you need to have different agencies like we need to have we, we should demand such kind of things with the government that what we want we need to have an agency which is keeping a check all on kind of uh, you know uh, businesses and services around the globe uh, and the updates media is no more uh, uh you know like okay so media is a way that you get to know few things uh, we get to know few news but you do not know the authenticity of that okay when you want to get a authentic information okay agar try ka koi rule hai for an example or let's say dgca ka koi rule hai wo aapko ja ke uski website pe dekhna padta hai because that is a authentic source the indian gazette is the authentic source so india should have such kind of uh, you know uh, uh panel where the sources you know it can be into startup india only jahan pe ye sare sources ek jagah pe humko mile aur hum us industries ke bare mein different different cheezon ko explore kar paaye hamare paas mein har type ka data available ho bhale hi se cost ke sath mein lekin ek data hamare paas mein available hona chahiye uski authenticity kisi एक एजेंसी के हाथ में होना चाहिए ये ऑथेंटिक डेटा हमारे पास में है एक ऑथेंटिक रिसर्च डेटा हमारे पास में है डज इट आंसर योर क्वेश्चन विशाली यस सर आई एम क्वाइट श्योर द अटेंडीज क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आंसर्ड कैन वी हैव मोर क्वेश्चंस यस देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ अप्रिसिएशंस फॉर यू इन द चैट चैट बॉक्स ऑफ अ YouTube स्ट्रीम एंड देयर इज अ क्वेश्चन फॉलोइंग अप दैट 
you are in the sector of innovation and technology by your startup uh, skyline drone technology so when you are in that sector uh, what is your advice for a newcomer that has its keen interest in getting into these technologies and innovations field into the drone technologies or into any other innovations any into other innovative field innovative fields and in overall technological fields see uh, okay so my suggestion is that you need to dev devote time uh, to understand and know the market leader at this point of time and understand who is doing this work work with them understand them become an intern okay follow them check the use case scenarios wahan pe uski implementations kahan pe ho rahe hain kin jagah pe wo cheeze implement ho rahi hain kahan pe hum un cheezon ko implement tarike se kar rahe hain uske baad aap uske baad hi aap next level pe ja sakte ho uske baad hi aap un technologies ko emerging technologies ke category mein dal ke and usme kuch innovations ya usme enter jab aap hote ho to you start meeting people networking is very important when you network with such kind of people you start getting lot of uh, feedbacks you start getting lot of feedbacks so for that agar kuch agar aapko nikalna hai agar aapko uh, you know let's say if if you really want to let's say kuch ugana chahte ho to aapko mitti mein aapke hath kharab karne padenge so you know you have to enter into the uh, the thing until unless you won't be able to carve anything and again needs a lot of time and patience uh sir there is another attendee asking that is it too risky to get into this innovative field when you talk about the risk yes you should have a risk taking uh, uh, you know you should have a risk taking uh, capacity to do that first of all whenever you are uh, taking risk it should be calculated you can you need to calculate that how much risk you can take uh, risk assessments are there uh, when you go to bank they they call it in their terms they call it green fields okay so what is greenfield greenfield is where there is no not much player or it is a open market only for the one person it is a emerging technology we know it is it is good for the future but there is no much player then they call it a greenfield so the pros is definitely there but what bank sees is cons because we tend to focus on money at that point of time we started thinking about that how to grab this market in order to grab that market you kill the quality you kill the quality standards you kill the way it should be working and then what happens is another player will come in the market they will jump into the market with some more funds with better strategy checking out your weak points and they will destroy you and the bank will have to suffer losses so the risk should be calculated uh you need to have discussion with banks time to time that what do they think about it how they can actually go ahead and support your business is there any category with msme sectors what are the quality standards what are the uh, government takeaways from this uh, risk can be taken care of but it should be calculated when you enter into the market it is always too risky but if you have the right set of mind if you have the right set of people supporting you and if your strategies are correct i am pretty sure that you can mitigate the risk you are the only one who will actually understand that what are the risk behind running this business or when we are starting this okay you you 
for an example you take a bike and you started riding it the guy know the risk that i can get i i can fall but he will not wear the helmet that's foolishness so you need to know that when to wear a helmet uh and and I would love to see everybody in thank you sir so with this i would like to propose the vote of thanks and thank our esteemed guest of honor of our today's ses uh, session mr prayas saxena sir and he is the founder and ceo of skyline drone tech private limited a sincere thanks to our chief patron for organizing this impact lecture series under iic our principal dr bk agrawal sir and our patron and iic president of iic of our college dr pankaj shrivastav sir and the convener of this series professor amit shukla sir a sincere thanks to you all and a thanks to our organizing team as well sanskar sir suyesh varsha piyush abhishek sir aditya sir and thanks a lot it was really a great to have all our audience and thank you sir for giving us your uh, valuable time a sincere thanks to you thank you uh, thank you so much sir can we all please uh, we all please open our camera and give smiling faces so we can have a screen shot sure that's a mandatory with the online presentations <laughs> and webinars Sorry, there is sunlight which is coming over here. Is it done? Yes. yes. Thank you so much, sir, for coming. So it is our honor to have you over here. It was a great day. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Abhishek. you, Mr. Pras. Aditya, please give me a call. Sure. Sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Over the edge feel like I'm floating through the air The pain I felt is paid for all it said and done Oh I am restricted fixed upon the web I need to kick the habit that my mind is breathing in Break out I got to see Spent all my life holding all of it closely I played it in a sense a feel of discontent I finally facing it all fearless <laughs> Now I must conclude